shush. Where to start with this video, really? Um, I should probably start with, hello, I'm back. Not that you would have noticed that I've actually gone anywhere because this video is just happily following on from the one before. But I've got a little bit of explaining to do as to where I've been this week. So it's Thursday, the, I don't know, I think it's Thursday. I'm not really with it with the days, if I'm honest. It's been a bit mental. So as you would have seen, my last video kind of cut off, what's the word, abruptly, just stopped. Because I had what I thought was tonsillitis. I did have tonsillitis and then it snowed, as you would have seen, which meant that I couldn't get to the doctors. Sorry about what I look like by the way, I am about to do my face but I've realised that now I've sat in front of the window you can see absolutely bloody everything, goodness. Um, yes, yeah, so I couldn't get to the doctors because of the snow and then it started melting around like Sunday but obviously doctors aren't open on Sunday and I asked my nan to put me a doctor's appointment on the Monday, she did and on the phone they said oh do you not think you should have rang 111 but yeah we can get you in and I thought well not really because I didn't want to waste anyone's time if you know what I mean like I thought well it's any bloody tonsillitis like why am I going to ring 111 I'm not dying it's not that serious but yeah I went to the doctors on the Monday and they said that I did have tonsillitis but it's now got worse because the infection was so bad and I had an abscess in my throat uh if you don't really understand or know what that is it's basically where the infection from my tonsil this side, because it was only on one side, um, had got so severe that it started to spread down the back of my throat and the whole side of my throat started to swell and it pushed, you know that dangly thing in your throat, it pushed it over that side and I had a gap in my throat this side, well, just big enough to breathe through. I could barely swallow my own saliva so I wasn't eating, wasn't drinking and I was very, very poorly, so I had to go into hospital. Got into a &E, and they did my blood pressure, they did my temperature, they did my heart rate. My heart rate was 144 beats per minute, and I think they said it's meant to be around like 60 to 70, so that was really f***ing bad. Uh, what they didn't tell me at the time is that if it gets too high, your heart starts shutting down, basically, and you can have a heart attack. Obviously, they don't tell you that at the time because they don't want you to panic making your heart rate go even faster which is understandable they told me after but they rushed me in basically and put me on the major ward because i was again very very poorly which i didn't realize at the time i thought it was just bloody tonsillitis so they got me in put me on a drip because i hadn't been eating I this horrible thing in my arm here if you've been in hospital you'll know i think it's kind of like everyone has it pretty much or everyone i saw did anyway i was on steroids i was on codeine, I was on cocodamol, I was on antibiotics, I was on a drip, I was on loads and loads of things so I was quite drugged up. And then a lovely lady, I say lovely, she wasn't, well she was lovely but her job was not lovely, she came round and said she's going to try and go down my throat with a needle that was basically the thickness of, oh sorry the sun's come out, look at my face. <laughs> Sorry, the battery died and now there's a really annoying, I'm gonna have to sort that. What were they saying? Um, yeah, so the wire was the size of an iPhone charge cable. The wire, the needle. And I was awake when she did this and I kid you not, I would rather give birth than her do that again. She did it three times. I had to open my mouth as wide as I could, not very because the abscess was stopping me from opening my mouth. And she went down through stuck the needle in, tried to drain out any pressure or any fluid that was in there, failed twice, and then said, um, <clears throat> I've got to stay in overnight, so cool, but, oh. but whilst all of this was happening, everyone had gone home by this point, like my mum and my dad were with me, Matt wasn't because he was here looking after Alfie, so I'd rather like my mum and dad come in so that Alfie's got some consistency, like, of care, if you know what I mean, he isn't just dumped. Not that he, it would be just dumping him on somebody because he sees the people that we would give him to regularly, but I just like things to stay normal for Alfie. But my mum and my dad went home and they said to me that they checked my bloods to see if the infection had spread to my blood. Um, at the time, I didn't really understand what this meant um, and it turns out it was actually very serious because they were checking 
to see if I had sepsis. If you don't know what sepsis is, my granddad was in hospital a year ago with sepsis and it's, I think it's blood poisoning essentially, and he died from it. So you can imagine my reaction when they said that I could have had sepsis if I'd left the infection any longer and not gone to the doctors. I could have had bloody sepsis which just blows my mind because how lucky am I <laughs> that I went to the doctors. That kind of brings me on to, I didn't go to the doctors sooner or ring 111 because I didn't think my problem was serious and I know how busy the NHS staff are and I felt like I was just going to them with like a minor problem, like a sore throat, you know, when you go to the doctors and they're like, well, they don't really even come to the doctors with a sore throat, it's just a sore throat, you know, wait it out. So I didn't want to bother anyone, but actually, you know your own body, you know if something is worse than what it seems, you know, you just know. And I think I did know, but I didn't want to go because I'd never had tonsillitis before and I didn't know what the pain was like, so I just assumed that what I had was that, but it turns out the pain I was experiencing was 10 times worse than tonsillitis. And I would have known that had I gone to see somebody sooner, but I didn't want to bother anyone. So I should probably just reiterate the fact that if you don't feel very well, or you know that something's wrong with you, and people are telling you it's just a cold, if you know that you're not well, then go and see someone. Like they said to me, if you get, you know, a, a sore throat again, or if you get tonsillitis again, go to the doctor straight away. And I said, yeah, but I don't really want to waste their time because they, they see people with so much more problems, like more important problems than me. And they said, don't even hesitate. Like, don't ever feel like you're wasting their time because that is their job to make sure that you're okay. They would much rather you go in and be all right than go in and not be okay. <sighs> so yes, that's where I am at the moment. I'm on lots and lots of tablets. I've got to take 24 tablets a day. Yep, 24. I don't really know what they are if I'm honest, but I just know that they're helping. They've advised me to stay home and rest. I've done that for about a day. I'm getting a bit agitated looking at the same four walls and watching daytime telly. As much as I love Philip and Holly, I mean, there's only so much of it you can watch, to be honest. Today, my plan is to drive to B&M or Home Bargains because I did a food shop yesterday online in Asda and there's a few things that I don't do on my weekly shop, but I don't buy on my weekly shop even. Just things that are gonna be cheaper in a cheaper shop. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I haven't told my family that I'm driving, actually I've told my mum, but I haven't told anyone else I'm driving there because I know that they're all going to shout at me and say, what the hell are you doing driving there? You need to be resting at home. I know, I know I do, but I need to go because I need to get some emergency jar food things, finger food for Alfie. So, sorry. I am good to drive by the way. Just thought I'd update you as to where I've been, what's going on and why I nearly pooed myself in hospital. Not literally, although maybe I could have. Kiss FM are providing the tunes this morning. You must not know about me. What about if I put you here? No, because we're backlit. Over here, that's very bright. Oh, do you know what? I've made it to my destination. I'm in a place called Trowbridge. It's about a 20 minute drive from where I live, kind of-ish. There is a shit ton of shit shops here. I need to stop swearing. Um, there's just a lot of bad shops here, but a few good ones. We've got a Matalan. Matalan is really underrated, I feel. I really like Matalan. There's a Home Bargains, which I'm parked right outside of. I'm literally right in front of the shop. I'm loving life. There's a B&M along there. There's a KFC, there's McDonald's, there's Pets at Home, there's a TK Maxx. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna go and see what I pick up. I might not take you with me because I just want to get me shopping done rather than just film, if I'm honest. Look how close I am to all the shops. This is Home Bargains. Look, I could not be any closer if I tried. Matalan's over there and B&M's all the way down there. And there's also a Dreams, but who shops there? Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm seeing things that I don't even need to buy, but I want them. I want a light up toilet lid thing. I mean, I don't need it, but I want it.
We're very aware we're very bright right now. Hang on. Is it better? Yes. Um, just to put into perspective, oh gosh, just to put into perspective how much I've actually bought. I haven't actually spent that much, not really, but I've, well look, what's happened here then? We've got an awful lot, it's spilling over, goodness, and I've got no room in my boot because obviously I've got the push chair, so I need to try and get me cocoa pops down there. Yep, I bought cocoa pops, didn't I? I'll show you oh, everything. Oh, Jesus. I'll show you everything I bought when I get home. It's not actually that interesting. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's not actually that interesting, but if you like cleaning stuff and you like baby clothes and you like random shite, you are going to be loving me. The whole time I was walking around, um, I actually felt a little bit sick. Um, oh, Mac, look. Remember, I actually feel a little bit sick currently still, so I am gonna go home. I'm gonna chill in bed, have a cup of tea. Um, my eyesight, I think it's my tablets, is I, I can see, <laughs> but I don't know. You know, when you're really tired and you kind of need to like blink to focus your eyes because they're not working right, that's what I feel like. But I think it's my tablets doing that to me, right? I am home now after my mish around. Home bargains and B and M, and I also did go into Matland, so I thought I'd quickly show you what I've got before I put it all away, before I go and have a nap because I should not have gone out. <laughs> I shouldn't, but I needed to get some emergent. Well, I say emergency, like some food pouches for Alfie for this week and beginning of next week because I just haven't been able to cook anything because I've been so weak since I've been home and I haven't had the energy. Matt can't cook, <laughs> so it's just for him really, mainly, that's why I went. But I will show you the shite that I bought, and it is pure shite, so please don't judge me. Okay, so why is that? That's annoying on the floor, isn't it? Let's get rid of that. Goodness me. From Matalan, I had to go in there because my friends just had a baby. I think I said about it briefly. And I got it in this little bag, and it says, hello, I'm new here, how cute. And she's had a little girl, so I thought, because it's kind of spring, well, it's meant to be spring now, I thought I'd get her some little shoes. She's called Hazel, by the way. How adorable are those? And the insides are like, well, they've got little flowers, and they're very cute. And they were, I want to say £4. Yeah, £4, which is, well, is that expensive for a shoe for a baby that can't actually properly wear them? This, which I absolutely love. I would wear this if they did it in my size, to be honest. Look at that. Just look at it. Look at that dress. Look. Isn't that just the cutest? That was £9? Yes, that was £9. So that is going to Hazel in the little bag. I hope her mum likes it. If she doesn't, oh dear. Okay, next up. <laughs> I realise how boring this is. We have the things I bought in B&M. What I meant by things for Alfie were these. Oh, great, cool. There we go. Um, so some rice cakes and he really likes these. Um, I don't give them to him all the time. I tend to blend up what me and Matt are eating and give that to him. But obviously because I've not been cooking, that's not been possible. So I got him like chicken dinner and pasta because he likes pasta. I don't actually know what paella is but I bought that. And some cocoa pops and bleach and ketchup and biscuits and skips. Cool, yeah. Next is home bargains and home bargains is truly where it's at. If you've never been to a home bargains, you are really missing out because I just bloody love the place. So I bought some of these, you know, those things that you use to put cleanser on and or micellar, 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 micellar. Shut up, so I bought a deodorant. Cool, great. Some toothpaste. Cool. For my mum, for Mother's Day, their Mother's Day stuff was a little bit naff, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of all stuff that you'd find in Poundland. Not that Poundland's bad, but you know what I mean? Like, they look quite cheap, so I didn't buy any of that. But what I did buy was, oh god, don't drop it, Soph. Um, a Echo Falls It's Time for Wine set with a wine glass. Admittedly, the actual wine is quite small. I didn't realise that when I bought it. I should have looked properly. But, um, yeah, I think that was £4. 
I thought that was quite good really. I don't actually know if my mum likes white wine. I think she does. I don't know if she likes white or red. I know she likes one of them and not the other, so I hope I've got that right. So that's for my mum for Mother's Day. Uh, they also did cards in there too. I got her a very cheap looking one. Yeah, it's not great actually. Um, from Alfie. It says, Happy Mother's Day, Nana. With love from your grandson. And she's very much like me. She's very sentimental, so she'll really like that. And then one from me. I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? That's nicer than the other one. And that was only 79p and 59p. And I got some argan oil shampoo and conditioner. I used to buy the... Oh, my lord. Oh, Soph, what are you doing? Oh, you know what it looks like, don't you? This one. Is it going to focus? focus nah this one um i used to buy the face mask of this brand and it was really good so i thought i'd try the shampoo and conditioner and i bought some toothbrushes fabulous they were 30 something p i think that's very good some more why have i hang on oh okay right i get it now i was gonna say why have i bought two i'm sure i've already said um, some normal toothpaste, and then because Alfie's got some teeth now, he has um, his first milk teeth. Toothpaste, how cute is that? <gasps> I remember having this when I was little, and it was quite nice, so I might try that and see if it brings back any memories. Is that weird? Um, adult section. Oh no, that sounds very wrong. <laughs> Not that kind of adult section. But I bought some bathroom cleaner, Brill. Some... Um, strawberry and lily fabric softener. This is the nicest thing ever. If you haven't bought this before, or if your parents have never bought this, tell them to because you will smell like strawberries all day and it's just very delicious. I also bought my mum this cup. One of the only things that I bought from the actual Mother's Day like collection thing that they did in there. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I didn't really look at it properly in there because I was rushing, but isn't that pretty? Gonna focus? Gonna focus, hun. Gonna focus. Come on, you got one job. One job. I mean, I'd be happy with that, but I doubt Matt's gonna buy me that, if I'm honest. <sighs> and more boring things. Oh, vinegar spray, because it cleans your washing machine. Oh, my lord. Um, some shampoo. The Head and Shoulders one, because it strips colour from your hair, which I didn't realise, so I don't buy it. For what it's meant for but it apparently um, if you've dyed your hair before it takes the dye out like quicker than normal so that's what my hairdresser told me so there we go all the things that I've bought how boring this is my life now this is what being an adult means this is what it means to be an adult who knew sorry about the noise but can we also just take a moment to appreciate the flowers that Matt bought me how lush are these these are kind of like oh sorry you've been in hospital sorry you've been on wildflowers i love you how lush are they oh i just want to stare at them forever also look how manky my table is there's crap everywhere soz just look at them look at them i'm just editing today's um footage now and i've just got to the end like of the flowers clip and i should probably explain um i'm not at work obviously because I've been signed off for the rest of this week. Alfie is at nursery, which he's just finished now. Um, he gets picked up at one o'clock, it's now nearly two. So my mum's got Alfie. Um, I didn't take him to nursery this morning or yesterday, Matt's mum did. So my child hasn't vanished. He is still, you know, alive and well. He's absolutely fine. His impetigo's cleared up and gone. You will see him in this video at some point. Not today, I don't think. Probably tomorrow because he hasn't got nursery and yeah so he hasn't vanished he is still around just not in my household currently morning yes i'm in the same jumper yes i look exactly the same as i did yesterday but that is because last night 
judge me all you like, it's fine, I don't mind. Last night I was so tired and knocked out by my tablets that I just fell asleep with my clothes on and here I am still with my clothes on. Uh, so I'm going to treat these clothes like I would pyjamas today and I'm going to wear them for the rest of the day so <laughs> hmm. I've got my little munchkin back, today is my first day of looking after him on my own. It's quarter to eight and it feels like I've been up longer. He's crawling his way over to me. Do you want to say hello? Say good morning. Hello. Are you okay today? <laughs> he is very much so crawling everywhere now. You come in, look what I've got. <gasps> oh, your princess. Wow. Or do you want to see yourself? That might make you crawl. <gasps> Who's that in there? Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> he is very happy this morning, I'm not going to lie. We could have had a worse morning. He hasn't been great. You've been alright, haven't you? <laughs> this is kind of what we're getting. He gets frustrated. He can crawl, but he kind of flops down because <coughs> he gets too excited. And... He gets really frustrated with himself, so that's what we're dealing with at the moment. But I just thought I would say hello and good morning and welcome to the day. It's Friday. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to film today. I'll try and get a few bits because I'm going to try and not film this. Actually, no, I am going to film this weekend something. I'm going to go to Dad this weekend because he's just got a brand new hot tub. And Alfie absolutely loves it in there. Don't worry, we do turn the temperature down so that he doesn't overheat, you know. He loves it in there, so I'm going to film a bit in there, hopefully, if I do go over it. If I don't, then I won't, and you won't see it in this video. Just see where the weekend takes us. <laughs> see you, Lo. He loves the camera, if you can't tell. You can't have the camera, because it's not a toy. Should we say see you later? We're going to do some playing and see you later on. <laughs> Alfie's been asleep since um, quarter past nine. It's now five to twelve. I'm kind of like, I'm bored so I want to wake him up. But at the same time I know that you should never wake a sleeping baby. I think somebody might be waking up. Hello, Alfie. Hi. Did you have a lovely sleep? Hello. <laughs> Hiya. <laughs> Shall I undo your curtains or your blinds, should I say? These aren't really curtains, let's be honest. Let some daylight in. You've been asleep for such a long time. You have. Hello. Look at all your drivel. Oh dear. By the way, I don't think I've said, or I might have, but I don't think I've put it in a video. I don't know. We changed Alfie's room around. Um, there's a lot more room, I find. It's very heavy on this side, obviously. <laughs> He's just chilling there. His cot's here. And is changing unit and wardrobe is all on this wall and the only thing on this side is his drawers I need to put something here preferably that picture and then it'll kind of bulk it up a bit more on this side because we've annoyingly got the radiator which means that we can't put anything in front of it but it just means that there's a lot more space down here for when he gets a little bit older not that we plan to stay here for that long but you are on the move aren't you are you hungry? You you missed your dinner. Are you hungry? You missed your din dins. You've been asleep for three hours, nearly four. Now profile yeah. for each one. Paul Britton wrote in his book that he was asked, "Do you think it's a different song? The only different shoes. The shoes that mum was in the open. Alfie, sorry about the noise. The washing machine's on on the telly. Alfie is finally big enough to use his. I don't know what you'd call this bouncer, maybe. Yeah, bouncer. Yeah, that's it. A bouncer, because that's exactly what he's doing in it. 
Can you do some bouncing? A bouncy, 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 bounce. A bouncy, bounce. Oh, good boy. <laughs> he looks so big. Can you believe that he's seven months old now? What the hell? You're seven months old. You are such a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. Are you really grown up? Look at him. Look at his legs. Oh, it's just adorable. Good morning. I am in my kitchen. You never normally come in here, really, because, well, there's no reason for you to. I'm very fresh faced. Look at me. I'm very red. I have no makeup on whatsoever, and that is because it's not actually the morning. It's it's half past two. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, I've got no makeup on because me and Alfie are going to my dad's house any minute now. I tell him that we're going over to see him. We're actually going over to go swimming in his hot tub because Alfie loves it. And it's a jacuzzi, which is apparently different to a hot tub, says my dad. Like the amount of things that he's told me about it, and I don't actually care. <laughs> Um, it's really big. It's bigger than your average hot tub, so Alfie can actually try and swim. So yeah, that's where we're going. So I've got no makeup on because Dad lectures me and says it clogs up the filters. Not that I wear it anyway because it clogs up your skin. Cool. Okay, now we've got that out of the way. <laughs> I need to go and wake Alfie up. He is asleep. And we need to go now. I need to get him dressed and get his water, na water nappy on. Yeah, water nappy on. So... Yeah, I don't like waking him up when he's asleep because he's really grumpy. Oh well, let's go get him. Look how cute. Adorable. <sighs> I don't think he's sure about you, Alf. I don't think he's sure. I don't think so. See if Alfie's still having a grand time. Alfie! Look at my cheeks. It's so hot in there. Oh, did you have a good time in there? Did you like it? You a bit naked. Um. Oh, oh hey. Good morning. If you're new here, um, you may not realise that I do not make an effort for when I turn the camera on. So it's eight o'clock in the morning. We, I say we. Me and Alfie got up about an hour ago. He actually woke up at four o'clock in the morning today, didn't you? But he had a bottle and went back to sleep, so all is well. But I thought I'm just not going to make an effort just to say goodbye and thanks for watching because I, I don't care enough. <laughs> I don't mind that I look like this and if you mind then... Tough. So yesterday, I didn't really film too much. We went to soft play in the morning, didn't we? Alfie absolutely loved soft play, it was lush. Um, I didn't really film too much there, I filmed like a 10 second clip, which I'll include in a minute. And then we went to my nan's house. So Alfie's great nan. <laughs> Alfie's great nan. And my mum was there, so that was nice for Mother's Day. My nan cooked me a roast and we just chilled really. 
Alfie was a bit of a pain yesterday. He was um, a little bit whingy, so. But say thanks for watching this week, Alfie. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Say thanks for watching this week. Love ya. Yeah. I will leave you. I'm not in focus. There we go. I will leave you with the clips from Soft Play and my nan's house, and I will highly likely see you next week. Thank you.